Hey up, Chugganuts, how are we doing? And welcome back to another episode of Said Says. We are back today with another music video reaction for you guys. And this one comes courtesy of the lovely folks over at Incendia Management and Media. Now, obviously, you'll have seen on the channel recently that I have been promoting and championing a band called Tala from Pennsylvania. And um, these guys, I believe, are the same company that do the PR for those... Uh, those guys in Tala, they reached out to me and said, we've got some more bands on our roster that we'd like you to check out. Um, would you start with these guys? We think you're going to dig them. And they sent me a link for a band called the Urconauts, a band I have never heard of before. But trawling through the press release here, I think I'm going to fucking dig it. I really, really do. Um, I'll read you a bit about the band from their bio. So it says, formed in 2014, the Urconauts released their first demo to critical acclaim. Hailed Demo of the Month in Rock Hard Germany, number 331, so issue 331. The band have toured in the USA, Asia, Europe and Russia. That's pretty fucking impressive. And shared the stage with acts such as, uh, with acts such as uh, Film, Prong, Cradle of Filth and Samael. So quite a fucking mixed bag of names there. That's really interesting. Build as the darkest of the Urconauts full-length studio entries, their upcoming third album, I Want It To End, bears the weight of troubled times, providing a brutally honest retelling of all that the band have endured over the past three years. The album has been drawn together from a previous lineup of musicians, including Drop on guitars, Vincenzo on drums, and Fred D. Lemoncelli on lead guitars. Now, reading through this press release as well, I can see that the... Um, main singer-songwriter for the Urco Noughts is uh, Alice Campanelli, who was in Cybreed, who are a wicked, wicked band. Uh, and just reading through it, it tells you a bit more about the song we're going to be checking out today, which is called Five Orange Seeds, which says it's for fans of Gojira, Faith No More, and System of a Down. Now, I love all three of those bands, so instantly it got me hooked. What also got me excited about this song that we're checking out today is that it's based on Sherlock Holmes. Um, I love the TV series, I love the books, I love everything kind of murder mystery orientated. So, yeah, this is going to be wicked. Let's delve straight into it. It's an animated video, uh, which I believe is the first animated video I've featured on this channel. So, uh, yeah, let's see what this is like. This is the Urconauts with five orange seeds. <laughs> A bit of a Devin Townsend feel to it, this. That art style is just gorgeous. Reminds me a lot of the uh, the video game Darkest Dungeon. Expecting that vocally. The imagery in this video is just so cool looking. Really, really cool. There's elements of kind of like prog metal in there. There's elements of kind of post-rock elements of even dare I say black metal in there. Kind of like the uh, the guitar style in terms of the picking and those kind of high uh, screeches, those high screams. A really nice uh, amalgamation of sounds. That bass tone is just gorgeous. And I can hear the system of a down influence there in this guitar part. Kind of the more like melodic spectrum of system of a down stuff. Jack, 
I mean, the band bill themselves as um, thrash prog punk, and I think that's quite a um, an on point description, really. It is very. Um, it is just so many different styles and subgenres of alternate music thrown into a big cooking pot, mixed together, and honestly, on paper, it shouldn't sound like it works, but it really, really does. It's got a very uneasy and unsettling feel to it as well. I don't know if it's just the music video or that. It's actually both. I think the music video and the music complement each other really, really well. By far, one of the most striking and unique bands I've heard in the past five to ten years. I'm going to be brutally honest there. I am absolutely digging this. Bit of a, um, a Mastodon vibe to it at some points as well. Nice little Scars on Broadway esque outro there. That was really, really fucking cool. That was the Urkonauts with five orange seeds. And like I said before today, I had never even heard of this band. I mean, I'd never stumbled across them on social media. I'd never come across them um, when I'd been like booking tours or booking shows for bands. And um, yeah, I am blown away. I cannot wait to check out this album that drops um, in October. I believe it's October the 1st. I might have to get a copy of that because um, the album artwork looks sick. They've released some sick merch for it as well. There's a really cool t-shirt design here on the press release. Uh, they've also released another song from it called War Flamingos that I'm going to go check out now. So if you did enjoy this reaction, go and check out War Flamingos. But yeah, really, really cool band. That, Like I said, if you looked at the description, the whole... Um, what was I saying? Thrash, prog, punk. Doesn't sound like it should go together well at all. But they pick the best elements from all of those different styles and subgenres. And like I said, there's also elements of like post rock and even black metal in there as well. Throw it all together, and the sound that they've created is just innovative and unique. I'm struggling to name another band on the scene at the minute that sounds like these guys, and that is really, really good for a band to do in 2020, especially when there's been so many styles and so many subgenres done over and over and over to death over the past five to ten years. These guys are making fresh uh, and interesting music that sounds really relevant in this day and age, and I cannot wait to check out what comes next. If you did enjoy the Urkonauts, I will uh, post all their social media down below so you can check them out for yourselves. And if you did enjoy this episode of Said Says, please do hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with everything Said Says related. I'll be back next week with some other music video reactions for you guys. In the meantime, have a good evening and stay safe, folks. Mm -hmm.